Hi guys, I am Muchewa and I am back with Maths XYZ and in this session I will be taking you through parabola functions. I will be taking you through parabola functions. The parabola that we will be dealing with today is at the standard form of f at x is equal to ax squared plus q. And so the standard form of f at x is equal to ax squared plus q. So the a there, it determines the shape of the graph of which if a is greater than zero, then our graph will have, will be, will have a smiley face looking upward. And if a is less than zero, then the graph that will have, it will have a straight face looking down. Then another thing that you have to take into consideration is q of which if your q is greater than zero then the graph will be shifted shifted up and if q is less than zero then the graph will be shifted shifted down all right then the domain and the range of the graph of which the domain uh, refers to the possible x value for which the graph defines and the range is the possible y value of which the graph defines so with the parabola graph uh, the the domain that we have in most cases is the domain of the graph of which remember the domain is the possible x value of which the graph will define so will define so the graph of parabola the the domain of the graph of the parabola is mostly negative infinity into positive infinity so this is our x and that one is our y it's our negative x going to our positive x i'm interested sorry let me just erase that sorry guys getting the eraser our domain start from negative infinity end up at positive infinity so this is this one it's our negative infinity to our positive infinity remember our domain represent or uh, uh, refers to the posit possible x in um, values of which the graph will, will define and our range our range of which is defined uh, it defines as our possible possible y values it would be if our a is greater than zero and our y is greater or equals to q then our range will have uh, will be q and positive infinity then if our a is less than zero just draw a line and our q is less or equals to is, is it's less or equals to q our y then our range it will be negative infinity is to q is to q yes it's negative infinity is to q so this one is our range that's our domain so with the graph of parabola of uh, standard equation f and x is equal to ax squared plus q always uh, remember that if your a is greater than zero then your graph will look like that and if your a is less than zero then your graph will look like that and also q it defines the shifting of the graph and if q is greater than zero then the graph will be shifted upward and if q is less than zero then the graph will be shifted downward and also the domain which refers to the possible x value of which the graph will define of the parabola graph is negative infinity starting from negative infinity and ending in positive infinity and our range will define the possible y coordinate of which the graph will define is that with a if a is greater than zero and our y is greater or equals to q and then our range will be q uh, into it will set from q going to positive infinity and if a is less than zero then our graph will start from negative infinity and ending up at q all right let's just look at one question and see how we can apply all this into a question all right given a graph with a standard equation f at x it's equal to x squared x squared plus 
Then from here, we already know that our a is greater than zero, and that means that our graph it will look like this. And our q as well is greater than zero, then that means that the graph was shifted, our graph was shifted up, upward. All right, now from here, what we need to do to, in order to draw this graph, we must have a table, a table like this. Of which from this table dividing it there you must have X and Y you must have X and Y of which starting maybe let's say from negative 2 negative 1 0 1 and just adding another block there and 2 there then we must substitute every X, negative every X into this original equation so that we can get the Y from 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 there so substituting 2 into that it will be negative 2 squared plus 1 of which it will give us 5 and then negative 1 squared plus 1 that will give us 2 negative uh, 0 not negative 0 squared plus 1 that will still be 1 and then 1 squared plus 1 that will be 2 and 2 squared plus 1 that will give us 5 so our coordinate is negative 2 is to 5 negative 1 is to 2 0 is to 1 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 5 all right, let me just erase this so that I can get a, uh, a bigger space so that I can draw uh, this graph that we need. That we have to. Okay. Our coordinates, let me just draw the, write them down here. Our coordinate, it will be negative 2 is to 5 and negative 1 is to 2, sorry. That will be negative 1 is to 2 and 0 is to 1. 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 5. So I just want to erase uh, this table as well so that I can get space to draw that graph. So this, our, this is our coordinates of this graph that we have to draw now. Okay, this one is our y intercept. In what y axis, I mean to say, and this one is our y x inter y axis. Remember to always name your axis uh, and also to show which side is negative and which side is positive. So this one is our x axis positive and this one is our y axis positive and this one is our x axis negative. This one is our y axis as well and negative as well. And then this graph, remember, I'm not drawing into, in, in, it's not drawn into scale. I'm just showing you a rough sketch of how the graph will look like if you draw it into, in, in, in a scale. And this will be four. This one will be one. Sorry. Okay. Okay, that will be one, two, three, four, and five. Then this negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Then starting with our first point is negative 2 is to 4. Then this is negative 2. Negative 2 is to 5, I mean to say. This is negative 2 of the x. And then that's why that's our point there. And another one is negative 2. Negative 1 is to 2, of which it will be there. This is negative. Uh, if you can, see, can you see this? So this one will be negative 1 and 2. This is our two points already. And another point we have 0 is to 1, which will be there. And our next point is 1 is to 2, of which it will be there. And our, another point we have 2 is to 5. So this graph looks like a reflection of each other on both edges. So our graph just joining the dots up, it will be like that. Yes. So it's just a proof that our graph indeed A is greater than zero because our graph is looking up and indeed Q is greater than zero as well because our graph has been shifted a bit upward. All right, guys, I hope you understood this. Remember, when you draw your graph, you must always remember to name your axis and also uh, show which side is positive and which side is negative. This side is positive, positive, negative, and negative. Then this, this way our, our coordinates to draw this graph. We just uh, draw the coordinate and join the 
points and after that we got a shape like this this is just a rough sketch of how the graph will look like and also uh, it just gave us a proof that indeed our a is greater than zero because our graph is a smiley face and also our q is greater than zero because our graph has been shifted a bit upward all right i hope you understood this and if you have any question or there's somewhere that you don't really understand please just drop it in the comment note then we'll contact you and uh have a follow-up on it remember to subscribe to met xyz so that you can get daily notification when we upload videos remember uh tomorrow to also tune in and uh watch uh when we're doing continue on parabola but uh and uh, using another uh, standard form of parabola which is y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c we'll do that tomorrow thank you guys